All right, you guys, can you hear me? I hope you can. Hold on, I'm getting my camera, my, uh, my microphone set up just a little bit better. All right, this is the reveal of the Real Avid Master Gun Vice in action. I just have this cover on there. And uh, again, before you, we, we go any further, I just want to say that this thing is awesome. I highly recommend this thing. That's a too long, didn't watch version of this thing, uh, of this vice. Now, let's talk about, uh, you know, this is what it looks like installed. Uh, goodness, man, I don't even know where to begin. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to move my microphone really quick. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. That is a lot better. Okay, so let's talk about this vice really quick. It is amazing. It is awesome. Right now, it is in an unlocked position. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the exposed view. Let's go ahead and show you this thing in action. Because, I mean, that's what you guys want to see, right? You guys want to see this tool in action, right? And uh, that's me opening up. The action on here is so goddamn smooth. Buttery smooth. I absolutely love it. I can imagine myself utilizing these gun vice sleeves. Super, super useful. So, on one side... Uh, we have the, the the plastic, the nylon side, and then this side right here, this black. This is some like really dense, high quality foam. So if you have a, a rifle that's like you know made out of some you know precious frail material, or you want to you know preserve the integrity of a wooden stock or wooden furniture of some sort, uh, you you might want to utilize the foam, uh, the foam uh, side of these gun vice sleeves. And uh, it's really easy to lock them in place. It's really uh, easy to, to utilize this. Now, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, applications that can be uh, utilized here with, with this specific feature. Can you imagine what they can make, uh, you know, and just plop it down on here? Um, you know, it just, this is so damn cool. This is so damn cool. But it doesn't end there. The, cra the great thing about this vice, and of course, real avid in general, is that they are rewarding their customers who have purchased their tools in the past with enthusiasm. They're rewarding their loyal fan base by ensuring that this tool interfaces with products that their customers might already own. And I've been buying and reviewing and showing off real Avid tools for quite some time. So the lug lock device, which a lot of people uh, seem to say a lot of negative things about because they don't trust the stability of that. I'm probably going to do another video revisiting this because I think it's bunk. Uh, as somebody who puts together a lot of rifles, I think you guys are wrong about the lug lock device. Uh, the lug lock, uh, you know, vice rod. Uh, so what's really great about uh, this vice, the, the real, the master gun vice, you turn it around here, there's these two holes right here where I'm pointing. And you can go ahead and just, not all the way, just barely put in these keys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip her around. And then the holes on the lug lock device. Just slapping those in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten her up. And if I uh, use this plastic lever, push it down, it keeps it, uh, keeps it in place. So it's not going to go anywhere. And right now, this is in the unlocked position. This key right here, we're going to talk about this key in a minute. But it's in the unlocked position. So I'm able to maneuver this around any way I want. Uh, so the lug lock device, right now I have a little, like a thin coat of uh, ballastol on there. So, you know, you can, okay, I'm going to try to give you guys the exposed view. All right. So now I have complete and total access here. Complete and total access to this uh, barrel. And uh, let, take a look at the... Um, Take a look at the, the, the rail here. Take a look at the rail here. Now, there is a uh, knob right here where I'm pinching. Look at the Picatinny rail on the upper receiver. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold up. <clears throat> there we go. There you go. 
what you're doing, what I'm doing is I'm pushing, pushing out and then I'm moving left to right. And you can make micro adjustments. Very, very useful if you have a, like, like bubble levels on top of this rail here and you want to get this perfectly aligned. Um, you know, when I get it perfectly aligned uh, for obvious reasons, for mounting an optic type reason. And, uh, and of course, you also have access to the, uh, the barrel nuts. And when you're installing a handguard, let's say like a two piece free, uh, free float rail, uh, usually they, they clamp on like this and then the screws, they're, they're right here, they're on the bottom and you can easily tighten them down. And then, you know, and that's it, man. And this isn't gonna go anywhere. This isn't gonna go anywhere. This is incredibly stable. Now, before we talk about the locking, mechan locking mechanism, let's talk about another tool that this is designed to interface with, not just the lock, lug lock device. But it was also meant to uh, interface with the smart fit vice block. So you'll use this. So what it's doing, there's these, uh, there's these little cutouts here. And this basically just rests in, within those cutouts. And it's not going to go anywhere. This is, you know, ugh. yeah, this is not going to go anywhere. And I really, really like this setup. Um, one really great thing about the master gun vice is that it's kind of tall. It's really, really tall for a, um, for, for a vice in general. So I like that it, at least in its vertical position, it brings the product, the, the, the upper, the lower, it brings it up to me. And then of course, when you, uh, include or, or throw in the smart fit vice block that also, uh, you know, this is a, this is a bit tall. I, I did a comparison between this and the Magpul bed block. And, uh, you know, I like that it's tall and again, it brings things up to me. So that's incredibly useful. Now the Magpul uh, bed block, it can work in here. It, it just, it isn't as stable as in, in, in as secure as I would like it to be. You gotta do it really, really tight. And I don't really like doing that. It just, I just, I don't know. It, it kind of stinks. What I would like to see is uh, real avid make, uh, let me see, let me show you make a make little uh provide inserts or sell inserts right here uh for let's say the magpul bed block or, or perhaps other tools from from third from other third party uh, you know uh, tool makers like wheeler or something or, or geisley uh, for that matter uh, i just think that'd be awesome um you know because like here like i'm gonna go ahead and put it in again it does uh you know go in uh quite nicely guys it really really does and on the surface you know this this might work maybe uh but the thing is is that it's a little too low that's a problem with this it's a little too low so the the magwell the, the bottom of the magwell it you know it kind of flares out kind of protrudes out and it does make a little bit of contact or at least it can make contact with the vice jaws of the the master gun vice and uh and of course let's say you're you're torquing something down you're you're tightening something or you're you're, you're using the armor's hammer to, to push something in it's really really easy for that contact to be made and then you're going to mar up and beat up the finish of your rifle so what you have to do is just put this up a just a just a little bit so like see this line right here you want that to be flush with the top of the vice jaws that's what i found works you know the best but you gotta you gotta do this really really tight and then it's not gonna go anywhere um and then of course uh the this portion right here this isn't gonna be an issue hold up we gotta remove this yeah same deal same deal with this So now we can uh so now we can put the uh the upper receiver um you know have that the upper receiver interface with uh with the, the MacPo bed block and then of course put in the uh the, the bulk carrier group from the rear and then you're gonna have a really secure fit and it'll basically do exactly what the lug lock device does. Um you know, plus the smart fit tool. Uh however this really you know again if you have the real avid stuff 
you're going to be rewarded because these tools, the, the smart fit vice block and the lug lock device just interface with this and, 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 you know, they, they just, they function so well together. Um, so yeah, again, th this thing is like uh, amazing. It is amazing. You guys, it is freaking amazing. And the quality it, it's just like, like, I don't know what real avid was thinking. I mentioned this in my unboxing. It's like, you guys have this amazing tool this very expensive high-end vice. And on your website, you have like mostly, what they look like digital renderings. So I was under the impression that most of this would be like polymer-ish or whatever. Maybe that's like really stupid and naive of me. I don't know, I wasn't really thinking, you know, the holidays are coming up, so I got a lot on my mind. Um, so, you know, I'm just like, so I get this thing and I'm like genuinely blown away if you saw my unboxing. And now we have the tool in the flesh in the environment that it was meant for my workshop and i'm like why wasn't you know real avid showing stuff like this i know they have like a like a video like a promo video and it's like a few minutes long but i just don't feel like they really demonstrated what this thing really feels like it looks like and like it, and it's rawness uh you know i'm trying to show you guys everything and be totally transparent uh, so we're going to go ahead, uh, let's see if we can do this comfortably. We're going to go ahead and flip this over here to its side. Hopefully I don't touch my pooches. All right. Okay. So right here is the locking me mechanism. This is, a. Uh, this is like the most, one of the most important parts of the, the gun vise. So right now it's in the unlocked position. So inserting the key here, it's really just like a placeholder to be honest. It's of no consequence to have it there. So what you want to do, according to Real Avid, there should be like these alignment marks on the ball joint here. And there's an alignment mark right here. And once you uh, align those, you should be able to lock this thing into place. But the thing is, it's like, it's really, really hard to see. Uh, it's really hard to see the alignment marks. Uh, uh, and the ball joint is also like, it's got a little bit of resistance to it. Let's see if I can, uh... <sighs> nope, hold up. So what you can do is uh, maybe shine a light through this and you can see out the hole and align it. Uh... All right. I just had to make a slight adjustment right there. And you, also, if you're having a hard time, let me get uh, some ballastol. Goddamn cables everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna get some ballast all here, and you can apply oil. I think it actually encourages it, uh, you know, to, to ensure that there's oil on this. Uh, come on, baby. I don't wanna force it. Maybe like this. Yeah, this is honestly like the worst part about this gun vise is that this locking it into place can be a pain in the ass. But I do real life here on the channel, so you're going to see me struggle. Okay, I think I got it. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. <laughs> All right. Whew. That was a struggle, I promise you. Hold on one second. I'm trying to get this uh, microphone in a better spot. Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, man. So then we're going to go ahead and lock this into place. Now this is not going anywhere. Whew. Yeah, so. Um, and that's how you, you lock it into place. So right now it's locked in the vertical position. And you can also lock it in a horizontal position by removing the key once again. Loosening that up. And then you can go ahead and uh, lock it in this position if you'd like. I'm going to have to do the same bullshit again. I'm not going to deal with this. Um, 
so yeah, so now let me go ahead and move the camera and I want to show you how I like to store this thing. So let's just go ahead and move this back. Hopefully my dogs aren't behind me or they're going to kill me. All right, so this is how I like to store this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, lift that up. I'm going to start putting everything away. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This little foam piece, again, it's meant to protect your firearm if it's got a really delicate uh, surface or finish. So you just place that right between the little uh, the, the bars. We're not going to go ahead and put this all the way down. We're going to go ahead and put the, the sleeves on there. And I like to leave this in the unlocked position. And I want to have the, this lever right here that locks it into place. Well, I like to leave that off. I want to leave this loosey goosey. And here's why. If you got like a rambunctious dog, maybe a child, clumsy girlfriend or wife or whatever, stupid brother, and they bump into this thing, they bump into this, uh, you know, and it's in its locked position, someone's going to get hurt or you might damage the tool because this tool is meant for medium to light use per the real per the real avid master gun vice manual so i like to have it uh out of the way slightly out of the way just like this and uh and then i'll go ahead and put a cover on it just like that and then i'm done and then i'll get back to this you know uh you know the next day or whatever uh so let me just talk about really quickly what i would recommend um or, or one of my pet peeves. Uh, the alignment marks down here, they're barely visible. I have a hard time seeing them. And uh, the vice is so expensive and it's really, really gorgeous. I, and for the money that we pay, I really wish that Real Avid would have included a master gun vice uh, cover. That would be really ideal and, and lovely. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't included, so whatever. Um, this will have to do for now. And uh, other than that, this is a 9.5 out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10. This is a wonderful tool, guys. It's a great addition to my to my arsenal. And uh, th th I've been having so much fun with this thing. I just don't want to leave my workshop. I just want to stay in here all day and, you know, do stuff with this. <gasps> all right. Well, I got to get in and uh, it's getting cold and my, my dogs are getting restless. So, yeah, I got a lot of things to do. So let me know what you guys think. This is the full overview tour of the real avid master gun vice here. I'm going to cover it up after I'm done with the video. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Honestly, like uh, no one's doing these videos. No one has done these videos except for me. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, I'm really happy with this. I think this is a real winner, real avid. Give us, uh, give us covers for our very expensive uh, gun vices. And, um, you know, I don't know, address the, the alignment marks here because they're just they're not that visible. It's really stinky, but I mean, I just eyeball it, you know, and I'll, I'll learn to get better at it. I've only had this thing for a few days. So, uh, yeah, that's it. God bless everybody. Peace.